Left-wing groups trying to make it to the center of Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires. They came here to protest against the economic policies of Javier Milei's new government. For the first time in years, they were met with resistance by security forces. Gabriel Solano says Milei is trying to remove certain fundamental rights. The government is violating the right to protest in Argentina. They want to violate the judiciary and the legislative branches with a series of laws they want to pass. I am very worried about democratic freedoms in Argentina. The police controlled access to the capital and filmed people on buses and train stations who were trying to make it to the center of the city. There's lots of tension in the center of Buenos Aires with hundreds of police officers that have been deployed here. The government says that protesters are not allowed to cover their faces or to carry what could be considered a weapon, like a stick. They're also saying that protesters won't be allowed to block any roads, which has been a common practice until now. Despite this, demonstrators on foot managed to reach the Plaza de Mayo in front of the presidential palace. Argentina is in the middle of an economic crisis. Inflation was already very high when Javier Milei took office 10 days ago. But a 54% evaluation of the currency last week has made the situation even worse. Milei says only an orthodox economic plan will get Argentina out of the crisis. Muchas gracias. And that's why on Wednesday he announced a mega decree to reform thousands of laws on issues like labor, exports, state companies and land. The objective is to begin with the reconstruction of our country, give back freedom to our individuals and begin to dismantle the enormous quantity of regulations that have stopped and complicated economic growth in the country. This is only the first step. The government says the economic situation will start to improve in the next few months. People here are not convinced and vow to remain ready to fight back. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera. Click on the